it's RDO Films here and today we are going to be doing a Nerf Blaster Arsenal video and we got our Nerf wall right over here and we're going to be reviewing the blasters after we show you our Nerf wall. Cut to the short film. Hello. Welcome to my man cave. Or should I say Blaster Cave. So this is where we store all of our Nerf blasters. As you can see, they're not all Nerf, but every one of them else are Nerf. We store our smaller blasters down in here in the bottom bucket, and then mags, drums, and barrels, and stocks, and all that in the top. Darts over here. Pretty good. Our bigger guns that we couldn't fit on the wall over here. Got some dart tag uh, vests. Junky stuff. <laughs> and we got right here. Right, let me show you back here. Our like where we store our glasses and little stuff for eye protection, you know. So that's our Nerf wall. We will review all of these. Note, we are not going to be reviewing the smaller blasters in the buckets. To start us off with our first blaster, we got the Rival Chaos. I got the blue one. I got the red one. And they are battery powered blasters. So they have the flip up sights. Series is Rival. And they shoot the little Rival balls. I enjoy these blasters. They perform very good. And see you all at the next blaster. Hey guys, welcome back. For our second blaster, we have the Zombie Strike Hammer Shot. It's a hammer action blaster. Tactical rail up here. Sling down here. It's got a five round drum. We enjoy these blasters very much. I think they're very cool. Probably one of the best, uh, Nerf zombie strikes that I own. They're very smooth on the hammer trigger. And then just pull the very smooth trigger. And if you're ever wanting to fire fast and you're like, oh no, I need a bullet, you just go. Yeah, it's real nice and quick. You do it so fast. It's very well made. Nice and no whip, no wobble. Can you hear any? No. Barely any. Nice blaster. See you all in the next blaster. We're reviewing our third and fourth blaster now. I got the Dreadbolt. Comes with five um, arrows. And I think it's very comfortable. There is a good grip down here for cocking. And I enjoy this gun. It's pretty good. So, on the fins. I got the Stradabo. Get, it's pretty good and it has a little aimer right here just in case you want aim. I enjoy it really a lot. See you guys next time. Hey guys, welcome back. We're doing our fifth and sixth blaster review here. I got the Mega Cyclone Shop. It's got a sixth round drum here. Prime it back. Pretty nice. Hold six rounds. Tactical rail up here. Pretty nice sights. I mean, they're not. It's just a mega. Terrible aim because it's mega. But nice, comfy grip. Got your got a handle right here. Pretty nice. Um. Yeah, it's it's pretty good. I enjoy this blaster a lot. Mega Mastodon, and it got a pretty, it's pretty good, I do it a lot, and it has a jam door right there, didn't see it, and then it's pretty good, I do it literally a lot, see you guys next time. Alright, we're here for our 7th and 8th blaster review, I have the X-Shot Turbo Advance, I know what you all are thinking. Y'all are thinking like, no, it's not a nerf, it's gonna be terrible. Well, you're wrong. This is like a really good blaster. It's like got a primer right here. 
rotating drum holds stinking 40 darts, X shot darts, because it's X shot gun. <laughs> but it's got 40 darts. You switch right here, so switch from inside circle and outside circle, but you just switch right there. The prime's right here. And you can also, you can take the drum out right here. You got a button right here. You just press this button right here, slide it out, pop it out, and also put it back in. It's a very great blaster. If y'all are looking to try something else that's not Nerf, uh, I definitely recommend X Shot. Well, see ya on fins. I got the double breech and it's a good gun. I like it a lot. It has an aimer at the top here. It holds two darts. And you only have to close this first. It goes with it. So it holds four darts on the side. So see you on the next gun. Alright, we're here for our ninth blaster review. We had the Nerf. Accu Strike Falcon Fire. It's very nice. You climb it up here, slide your dart in, push it back forward, fire. You got the sights right here. Look down. They obviously, I mean, I guess it's pretty good, but they uh, they just have to kind of match the look for the Accu Strike series. It's really just the darts, though. Just put your two extra darts up here. Nice, good, comfy grip. I think these holes right here in the trigger looks pretty good. A priming indicator back here. Once you pull it back, there's this red plastic piece that pops out. Once you slide it back forward, that lets you know that you're primed. Then you press the trigger, fire. I enjoy this blaster a lot. And we'll see you all in the next blaster. Hey guys, we are doing our 10th and 11th blaster review of our arsenal. And I am reviewing the Hyperfire. There's no detachable stock. There's no attachment up here for a barrel. The grip does not, it's not that comfy. And it holds 25 rounds, which is not that good, but it's decent. And it has a very short rail up here, really short, and it's junky. And the only way you can hit them, because it has bad accuracy, is if they're standing out in the open and you're just rapid firing like this. <laughs> Only way. I got the Nerf Strife. It has a jam door up here. You can see. And a lot of aimer right here. Got a, it comes with a thick mag. And I enjoy it a lot. See you guys on the next round. Hey guys, it's our 12th and 13th blaster review. I got the Retaliator, my favorite blaster, because it's comfy, it's easy to cock, it doesn't get jammed that often, it has a uh, not that good of not that good of a magazine. It doesn't hold too much, just 12, but it doesn't get jammed. It cocks very easy. And there's a secret dart at the very bottom. I don't know if that's supposed to go there. I just found a hole and put a dart in there. So you all should do that too if you get this guy. I got the Modulus Recon Mark II. It's pretty good. Prime it back up here. It's pretty comfortable. Um, it's got. It comes with a six round mag. It's got this bar here. It's pretty nice. Uh, detachable barrel and detachable stock just in case you want to put some new attachments on it pretty good got a tactical rail up here sling mount down here and it's pretty nice we'll see you all in the next blaster hey guys it's our 14th and 15th blaster review I got the double strike it's pretty good as a secondary blaster I enjoy this gun be as a secondary, and it has hammer action uh, cocking mechanism, and it holds two darts in the front, and the grip is the classic zombie strike bandage grip, 
it's pretty good as a secondary. See y'all with fins. I got the Ghoul Strike. It's got Elite and Mega. It got an aimer up there. You can do it really fast. I really just gun a lot. See you on the next blaster. Guys, I'm back for our 16th blaster review. I got the Stockade here. It's got a detachable stock back here is in the name. It's got 10... Whoops, I accidentally flipped the switch. <laughs> It's got, you can hold five on each side, five more darts on the back. Um, it's got a jam door up here. There's no uh, attachment point for a barrel, which isn't too good. You can't shoot without uh, having it on. So you got to flip the switch, and then you got to fire like that. So smoothness of, a tri of the trigger is not that good battery operated it's got a battery compartment right here um and sling attachment down here and it's pretty good the stock's comfy um it's pretty good the performance is not that good because it doesn't shoot very far at all it doesn't shoot hard either uh but this is the stockade see you all in the next blaster hey guys it's our 17th blaster review from our arsenal i got the centurion it's a spring action blaster and that means you just pull it back like that and then it's spring loaded and it's a sniper it's pretty good i enjoy it when i like sniping like over the hill or something you know just shoot a cow but <laughs> it has it comes with a six dart magazine and it has a jam door at the top, and this this stand absolutely stinks, but it's pretty good. So, see y'all at the next blaster. Mm, 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 mm. Oh, hey there! I did not see you there. I guess this is our 18th blaster review, and I will re be reviewing the jolts. They are very good secondary blasters because you can just have them in your pocket and then you shoot at the other player. Oh no, I'm out of ammo. You just pull out these, you kill the other player, and you take the dub. So, they're pretty good for spinning because I really like them. And you could do like tons of cool tricks like that. And see you all at the next blast blaster. Hey guys, it's our last blaster. I will be reviewing the brain saw to tell you how bad it stinks. <laughs> but it stinks because it shoots two feet if, if you're, you're lucky. lucky. And who would go up and use melee like this? <laughs> like no one does that. Like, and plus, it doesn't hurt. You want to hurt someone, right? So, it's foam! I mean, like, it's obviously foam, but it stinks. It doesn't even rotate that good. But, it comes with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight darts. And the grip is the only thing good about it. Please do not buy this blaster. If you're underage. <laughs> <laughs> I hate those blasters so much. See y'all next, next time. time. RDO Army. Oh, hey. Oh, I forgot. Uh, we are doing our 18th blaster review on the jolts. So I got the jolts right here. They're pretty good for spinning. <laughs> yeah, I really like them. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. They're pretty fun to play with. Guys, it's our 
15th Blaster Review. I got the Centurion. <laughs> <laughs>